It is written that no man can look at another and guess his karma. For even those who share the same karma can seem as different from one another as the hunter from his prey. So for example, Crystal to brochure for cold. My real name is Shrupp. A prostitute in New York may share the same karma as Reva Prosky. D don't think about changing your diet. Just do it. The widowed owner of a tiny New Age health store. Or Mary Ann Flan, the wife of an executive who's been transferred from New York to Los Angeles. All three women have lived in New York only blocks from each other. Reva Prosky and Crystal de Rochefoucauld live in the same building. Reva Prosky and Marianne Flan know some of the same people. But these three women have never met. And yet, before another week has passed, Marianne Flan, living in her newly rented house in Los Angeles, will meet Reva Prosky 3,000 miles away in New York. Oh, Miss Flan, you look so good. Thank you. You know, I like everything you got in the one side. Thank you, Yolanda. Yeah, I like your hair, your dress. Thank you. You know, that's a very popular in Mexico. It's very popular in Mexico? In Mexico, yes, it is. Everybody who's dressed like that in different colors. In Mexico? Yeah. Thank you, Yolanda. I love it. Thank you. Okay, yes. Yolanda, answer the phone. Quickly, quickly, yes. before they hang up. Flan residence. It's probably someone asking about the party, so say Flan residence. Then ask who it is. Ask who it is. Pick it up now, though. Ask who it is. Flan residence. Yes, Flan she's residence. here. Who is it? It's all right. Yes. It's okay. Once okay. okay. you say okay, she's here, it doesn't matter anymore. Thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. Yes? What? Uh, well, Ari, we'll be here. I, it's all right. I'll have it. I have. Thank you. From valet parking. Do you have any cash, honey? You know that you have to give them cash in advance. I don't know how much cash I have. Honey? Honey? You're allowed to make Mr. Flynn a drink, will you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Honey? Honey? I've been fired. It has begun. The first step. And back in New York, Reva Prosky takes the second step on her way to meet destiny. She is the magnet for all of them, Reva Brosky, the instrument of destiny. I have a bitch broke my nail. Oh, oh. For she alone of all of them has faith in destiny. Are you all right? Would you like something to eat? I just had a hamburger. And she will help anyone. Hold this. For hers is a faith unenlightened by judgment. It takes it forever to answer. Oh, I'm Reva Brosky. Crystal de Rochefoucauld. Are you French? No, Polish. My real name is Shrupk. I took the rush of a cold off of a marquee. <laughs> police, hello. We would like to report an oh, assault. Jesus, we would no, it's the police. Anything. Yes, we would report no, your no, assault. No, 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 please. No, see, he was just pissed. See, I told him that I wasn't going to turn any new tricks, and I was phasing out some of my regulars. And he said, phase this out. And I said, fuck you. And that's why he hit me. But it wasn't like an assault. Oh, Crystal. I don't know you, and maybe I have no right to say this, but I'm going to anyway. You've got to stop eating meat. Your skin is dry, your hair is brittle, and you're not thinking clearly. You're a beautiful, healthy young woman, Crystal, but you won't be for long if you don't change your diet. Look at me, Crystal. You know in your heart what you're eating is wrong, don't you? Crystal, don't you? Well, maybe. Um, why don't you let me think about it? No, don't think about it, Crystal. Just do it. I can really help you. You better be careful. I just might take you up on it. And you'd get tired of me. Everybody does. Well, I won't. I've never gotten tired of anybody or left anybody in my life. They've always had to leave me. Oh, God, I've got to get to my sister-in-law's. Since my husband died, I've, I've just tried to see Sue, my sister-in-law, once a week. She needs me. She smokes. And so does her husband. Did you see the cigarette? <laughs> oh, I feel just so sad being late. Oh, no, Mary Ann. Mary Ann. Um, 
This is my sister-in-law, Reba Prosky. Marianne dated Ed. My God, you knew Ed. I only went out with him once. Oh, I'm just thrilled to meet someone who knew Ed when he was here. I only went out with him once. I mean, this is like, this is a destiny. I was really sorry to hear. Reba, uh, Marianne just, uh, Marianne just moved here from L.A. I'm and she's a little... Uh, I'm moving here by the, at the end of the month. Well, well, why don't you ask horrible. Reba about your apartment? Uh, Reba has wonderful taste. <laughs> well, we're, oh, thank you. Uh, moving back to New York, actually. I've come back, you know, in the forefront, sort of, to find a handyman and a painter and just spruce oh, it up. Oh, I have two wonderful handymen that I trained. Oh, first of all, is it a new apartment? No, no, we've kept our co-op. They have met. The one who gives help and the one who needs it. Oh, Mary Ann, let me help you. All you really need are some bookshelves and some inexpensive cabinets up on this wall to cover that water stain. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Indirect lighting, shell, paint, paper, Laura Ashley fabrics. The third step has been taken. The journey has begun. It's a nice shape. But there is still time to turn back. There's Roger Flan back in Los Angeles. He can say no. Oh, yes. A man can say no to destiny if he says it in time. How did you end up here? Well, I just lost a job, that's why. Yeah. May I ask you uh, how much you were earning before you lost your job? I was earning about seventy-five to a hundred thousand. And now? Well, nothing. Roger, honey, I've been home a week, and all you've done is watch documentaries about the homeless. I wanted to see if it's somebody I know. Roger, darling. It's going to be all right. Reva Prosky is fixing our apartment for nothing. Well, for $10,000, but, sweetheart, if it goes over, we can stay with her for a while. Oh, sweetheart, darling. No, honey, no, let, let go of the carton, darling. I just want to put my arms around you. Tommy called me when you were in New York. He said, first I left him and his mom, and he didn't have a father. Mm. And now I'm taking away his college and his future. Mm. He hates me now. Mm -hmm. When he was little, I used to say to him, do you love your old dad? And he would say, I love you, daddy. You're my daddy. Darling, don't torture yourself like this. Tommy has hated you since you left his mother. That was 12 years ago. He's hated you since he was two. Roger, I know that when we got married, I wasn't very good at the things that Sylvia does so well. But I've come a long way, honey. I really have. I, I picked Reva Prosky in one night, and is she good? I saw her apartment. Honey, we're gonna have a show place. You know, you know what we've done that was brilliant? We've bought everything we will ever need. We have the china, and we have the furs, we have the luggage, we have the golf clubs, we have crystal, we have the co-op. You know that we have enough money to entertain for eight weeks? Yes, we spent everything you made. Yes, we did. But you can see it. I, I tell you what I think we should do. I think we make a plan right now. The menu, the guest list. I think you ought to rejoin the Lake Forest Country Club. I think I should join the Women's Metropolitan Opera Guild. I think we should get right back in that school. Roger Flang has not said no. It's going to be all right. They are going to New York, the helpless executive and his frightened wife. Honey, by the third dinner party, you know how many job offers you're going to have? It's going to be wonderful. One by one, they are coming together now. These strangers who think they are friends. Oh, how sweet. And this is for you. Oh. We've had it since we were married. Now it's yours. Oh, oh, it's a cactus. Oh, let me oh help my there. gosh. Love those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How's the apartment coming? Oh, wait, it's wonderful. Oh. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. I think I'm just being out a couple more days. Oh, oh. Yeah. is it great? Oh. Oh. Oh, honey, look, honey, look, look at those pillows. Eyes are going to be just like them. Aren't they great? <laughs> oh, your place was even nicer. Hey, honey, look at the rainbow on the wall. It's fun, isn't it? The light hits the crystals and makes that rainbow. Oh, I just love light. It's great. It's very clever. The so people are coming over after dinner for a little lecture on how we well, continue learning. Oh, you don't want to involve. No. Let us Oh, let's in position. It'll be fun. Now, this is your room. My nephew always used it, and I keep it this way for him. It's small, but it's only for a few days. I know. Three days. It'll be fun. <laughs> oh! My housekeeper, Pamela. Oh. Hi. Hi, Pamela. More tofu, Roger? No, thank you. I'm full. You mustn't go through any, any trouble for us. It's no trouble at all, really. This is good. This is really good. Mm. What is this? It's fantastic. Mm. And the textures and the colors. 
colors in there. I think food to be good should be pretty. Do you like the nori, Roger? Love it. Crystal, tofu, umeboshi. You're so quiet tonight. I'm really upset. What happened? This guy I know. He stole some money from me while I was sleeping. And now he won't call me back. Oh, no. What a terrible experience. How long have you known him? A couple of hours. Crystal has trouble distinguishing negative vibrations from positive vibrations. It's very dangerous. It really kills me. I just need $500 more. And I could quit the life and I could go to school. What are you going to study? Bartending. I used to study acting. I did a lot of parts in some high-class porno movies. I was a fluffer at first. I did some inserts. I sucked cock for five bucks a piece, but I never swallowed anything. And eventually, I got my name above the title, my face on the big screen. But I want to do something with more security and more respectability and, and less narcissism. So I think bartending's probably a good place for me to start. When this life experience is over, all the energies in a person's aura surround his soul and move his soul up the silver cord to the next realm of consciousness, which is called Summerland and is just a marvelous place. When we get used to this major transition, we move up to the guide realm which is, of course, where our guides come from and is where our scientists just great, get their inspiration. When, at last, we reach the realm of the master teacher, we don't have to come back to this life experience Something. anymore. I'm going to have a terrible anxiety attack. It takes about 2,500 years of experience to move up to the next realm, and that's the realm of the universal teachers. Saint Germain was one of those. He came back as Christopher Columbus. I was Isabella at the time. Come on, Roger. Don't worry, he's coming. Hiya, darling. Hello, honey. What well, happened? Uh, you fainted. It's so, okay. You just fainted. It's nothing to worry about, Roger. Nothing at all. Many, many people faint when their consciousness is first opened. The light's so dazzling. Oh, I, I should have given you this first. It's a book by Shirley MacLaine, and it describes this whole phenomenon. It's so exciting. This doesn't happen to everybody. I'm so happy for you. Crazy. Yes, but she has wonderful taste. I have to see the apartment, Mary, and I'm very anxious. It's only three days. I want to see the apartment. <laughs> there was all this water damage coming down that it rotted Look at this stud. It's, it's completely rotten. This is a six month, $50,000 job if you hire a professional. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's just a short. We ran out of fuses, so I put in pennies. Pennies? This closet's a joke. I have to wrap my pants around the hanger twice to keep them from hitting the floor. Okay, let's wait until the phone man leaves, honey. Just leave it the way it is now. And please don't make a big thing out of this. Oh, are we still being careful of wacko? Yes, she has $10,000 of our money. If she throws us out, we can't afford the why. Hi. How you doing? Hey. Is there anything I can help with before I go? Well, uh, is there some place that you could store the sheriff bear? Oh. Oh, well. It's, it's my nephew's favorite thing. If we take it out of the room, it just, it just might confuse him. I try to keep everything the way he left it, so he'll know he's welcome back. Well, could you tell him it was just temporary? It's just so hard to give that kind of message to the dead. Okay. It is written that fate, like any game, offers choices that dwindle as we play. I'm calling in regard to the consulting position. And Roger Flam's choices are dwindling. More wasabi, Roger. 
I think this guy that I'm dating is hawking my jewelry. Oh, no. He's a college professor. I met him in a bar, and we meditate together. But then right afterwards, I always notice that there's something missing. Oh. While we're meditating, you know, our eyes are closed. And I had this beautiful little gold statue of a man sitting on a diamond toilet jerking off. And it's gone. I can't find it anywhere. That's awful. My stepfather gave him to me when he had money. How's the apartment coming, Reva? Wonderfully. The wall uh, buckled again, but they're reinforcing it with extra studs. So you're going to have a, a really strong wall. Th they say it'll be another two weeks. Well, I feel a research-based company such as you... And still, Roger Flan can change destiny. ...the opportunity for a more personal involvement. He can take his wife and leave. The thing, the event that will make it too late has not happened yet. Ah! I'm sorry. I was looking for Reva, because I won't be here for dinner. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, I'm fine. Thank you very much for asking. No, no, I just dropped my match. I'll wait till you're off the phone. Uh, may I call you back? Uh, the uh, house man is out, and I, I think I hear the door. Thank you, Bert. Never. Never come in here again without knocking. Never. OK. Did you ask Reva to keep this for me? It's my June Bible. Fine. Is it all right if I, if I put it in your saddlebag? No, my underwear's in the saddlebag. Marianne? Is it okay if I just put it in the reins? Yes, good. Stuff it in the reins. Marianne! Crystal! What a surprise. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, I came by. I dropped my June Bible off here. I put it in your horse for Reva. Uh-huh. This guy chuckled that I'm seeing. Uh-huh. He's giving me a lot of trouble about it. Uh-huh. If I don't answer his questions, he handcuffs me to the radiator. I see. I know I know what you're going to say. I know I should throw him out, but I'm too scared to be alone. I just can't. Where the hell have you been? I went to get the paper, honey. I went to get the one ads. Oh, I know a great job that you can do uh -huh. at home, talking guys off on the phone, and it's great money. Thank you for the tip, Crystal. Well, hey, you've got to get busy, you. You've got to get on that phone and do some work. He's got to do some work. Oh, wait a second. Oh, the Benona trial? Yes. Oh, wow. Can I can I borrow this? Yes, take I it. I really want to read about take this. Take the entire thing. I, no, I, just I know it. some guys in the mob. Oh, really? Yeah, this one. They're all Capricorns. Really? It's the Wall Street Journal. And we'll keep that. OK, take the paper and, and read it. OK? Oh, no, that's OK. I can just sit here and read it. It's just one article. I don't want to take your paper. No, Ricky's got to get to work on the phone. Really, he, well, he but really does. Please, Crystal, he has to get to work on the phone. I don't mean to be okay, rude. OK, OK, no, I that's don't mean cool. to be rude. I understand. Thanks. Thank you. I'm sorry I shouted, OK? You won't forget to tell Reva about my date book? No, I won't. Please? I'm, yes, I won't. I won't. I, I, I'm sorry. That's all right. Bye, Roger. Bye, Marianne. Bye. Oh, God. I'm very, 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 very sorry. You must never leave me alone with these people again. I'm sorry, sweetheart. She just walked in. I'm sorry, darling. Ruined my call. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I would never believe a professional prostitute could be so boring. I'm sorry, darling. I can't stand much more of this. And I had these bronze dildo bookends, custom made, and I had two books. I also had a um, little. What book. are you resting from? You haven't been out of this room in weeks. Call someone just to say hello. We've been in town for three months. People will think that we're snubbing and them. What do I say after hello? Come on over and have some kelp. <laughs> we can eat on my toy chest. You can tell them. You can just tell them. Tell them that we're waiting for our apartment and that you haven't found a job yet. Just... No. Are you crazy? That's the end. I have to tell them the way we planned. Casually. Wittily. I have to seem not to need a job. Or them. Nobody wants to help you if you need them. People are not fools. Oh, Christ. I can't stand this. The master teachers are usually men. 
Pythagoras was a master teacher. He came back as Leonardo da Vinci and in a later life built the Taj Mahal. We'll never leave here alive. Now it is too late. It has happened. The circle is closed. There is no turning back. There's been an accident. What kind of an accident? The uh, tenant was uh, apparently standing on the frame of a waterbed, and it just gave way, and the mattress <laughs> rolled over on her. I'm sorry. What? Oh, no. Oh, God. Wait a minute. L Lieutenant, I I'm sorry. This lady is uh, her next door neighbor. They were very good friends. I'm Lieutenant Kelly. This is Detective Weber. May I have your name? Reva Prosky. Mrs. Prosky, do you know where we can contact Miss Shrop's next of kin? No, I, I don't know. Well, do you know where she's from? Yes, she's from, uh, oh, God, she's from, uh, she's from Albany. But it was a very long time ago, so uh, that's all I know. Oh, I feel so bad. If you, if you contact her family, please let me know, because she gave me some things of hers to hold, and they... I think you'd better turn anything she gave you over to us, Mrs. Prosky. We'll see if they get to the right people. Well, that's just out of the question, Lieutenant Kelly. And don't you even consider moving anything of hers for at least two weeks, just, just in case she wants to come back. It, it could confuse her. But she's dead. Yes. Marianne. Crystal's dead. They just moved her body out. Poor Crystal. She had such a sad, silly little aura. Roger left me. She never had a chance. What? What did you say about Roger? Roger left me. I found this note saying that he couldn't take it anymore. He would die if he didn't leave here. And he can't take me with because he doesn't know where he'll be going. And he thought nothing could be worse than the street, but he was wrong. Oh, my God. Oh, Marianne, this is terrible. Please, don't touch me. I know how you feel, as though any touch will hurt. Oh, grief is so painful, Mike. I can't believe something like this happened to both of us on the same day. I'm not going to bother you, but I just want to say I believe there's a reason both of us are going through this together. Some purpose, some, some lesson we need to learn. And the most important thing to remember is that these things wouldn't have happened to us if we weren't strong enough to handle them. And I really think we can help each other through this just by trusting and revealing. And... What are you doing? You have ruined my life. You have ruined my marriage. I never want to see you again. Oh, Marianne, don't say that. Don't turn on me. Please stop with the bag. You have no place to go. My apartment. You can't go there. It's a mess. I, I, I've been a little optimistic in my progress reports. I don't care where I stay. I don't care about anything. I've done my best, and this is it. That miserable, hideous little room, that terrible apartment, I would just like to blow up the world! Oh, no. No, you don't mean that. Don't say that. That's some dark, negative part of you speaking. Mary Ann, Roger will come back. Really? He will. How do you know? Because right now, his moon is in Cancer, and so he's running away from his emotions. But by next month, his moon will be in Pluto, and he'll seek out family and friends. Just hate you. Hate? This is Prosky. She's dead. Do you know where you she's know at? Where we where she's dead. Make contact with the deceased. You better be careful. I'm Lieutenant Kelly. This is Detective. 
Detective Weber. Oh, Christ. You better be careful. But the thing that really killed she's me she's dead. Is I could quit the life and go to school. Christ. Oh. A real freak accident. She's dead. It's just too tough a world for me. You better be careful. <laughs> Get out. Marianne, please. Someone broke into my apartment. I was asleep, and Crystal tried to warn me in a dream. And when I woke up, your cactus had been broken. It was leaning toward the left. It was pointing toward the crystals like a finger. And I knew that it was a warning sign. Do you have my key? Oh, sure. Thank you. Now, if you're not out of here by the time I count to three, I'm going to call the police, and I'm going to file a complaint. Is something wrong? One. Marianne, didn't you hear what I said? Someone broke into my apartment, an entity did. Two. It came right after you left. So I knew it was a warning sign that you couldn't leave. Not like that, oh. not in anger. Here's the phone. Wait. Oh, Marianne, don't do that. If you do that, we can never be friends again. We are not friends now. Oh, of course we are. But you don't know it because your moon is in Leo. I, I can fix it. Get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out! Oh, oh, sorry, I'll fix it. Get out! I'll fix it. Nice try, Weaver. Reba? Reba? What are you going to say you came back for, your suitcase? Reba, goddamn you. Is this what you're going to say you're looking for? And this was right after Mrs. Prosky told you about her break-in. Yes, you must have followed her. Is this the bag that you were carrying? That's Mrs. Prosky's bag, yes. Uh -huh. Did you take anything out of it? No, I didn't even open it. He didn't leave by the front. I think we got it all. Wait. Listen, got it all I, I, I'm telling you that somebody reached for me with they had a surgical club on their hands. Right, right. We got all that in the report. <laughs> Meanwhile, keep your deadbolt on and get these lights working. I'd like to send a circle of white light around me as a shield to protect me. And no negative vibrations can enter this circle. And then a circle of purple light around the bubble of white light. And then a circle of nurturing green light around the bubble of purple light that's around the bubble of white Reba. light. And Reba. just to bring harmony and Reba. peace and balance. Reba! Ah! My eyes are, it's me, it's okay. It's all right, it's fine. Reva, somebody broke into my apartment. What do you mean? I mean that 10 seconds after you left, I heard a noise in the foyer. I could see nothing, of course, because I don't have any electricity. And then suddenly, a flashlight just came on out of the darkness, aimed right toward my face, and then a hand came toward me. Oh, my so God. It's a gloved hand. A materialization. What? Was it a white light? It was a flashlight. Now, don't do that. Don't interpret. I don't know what you're talking about. What's the matter with you? 
Are you on some kind of herb? No, no, I'm just saying you didn't actually see a flashlight, did you? You just saw a light. See, we tend to add the details later, don't you think? Did somebody break into your apartment? No. Well, the same person broke into my apartment. No? No. I don't think the entity that broke into my apartment was someone. Oh, shit. No, I think it was Crystal. You're just a total banana. I'm sorry you feel that way. It wasn't a banana, but Hamlet who said there are more things in heaven and earth than ever dreamt Listen of. Listen to me. Your philosophy for issue. A real, living, actual person broke into my apartment. The same actual, real, living person broke into your apartment, and I want to know who it was. No one. Don't tell me no one. Who's out to get you? Who have you helped lately? No one. I don't think I've helped anyone recently. Why is it so difficult for you to just accept the fact that there's life after death? Oh, no, please. I don't want to get into a philosophical discussion with you. Your mind is like my apartment. There's just a lot of junk and things in it, and I don't know what any of it is for. Marianne, where's all this anger coming from? Why are you so angry with me? Because someone broke into my apartment, and you're not even interested. That's not true. Oh, oh yes, it is. Oh, yes. Marianne, please. I have something important. You are the most irresponsible person I've ever met. Oh, Marianne. The most irresponsible person the most? I have ever met. I'll help you with your apartment. Marianne. I can get it done in four weeks. Look, Marianne. Come stay with me for a few days. I'll make you comfortable. My nephew is a ghost. I'm sorry about the sheriff. I can't believe I let you do my apartment. I, I gave you $10,000. I put it in your hand. Please. It's just what this is about. I don't understand why you hired real handymen. I mean, why not call up a couple of spirits and give them a budget? I really think I should tell you this. It couldn't have looked any worse. Might have been a lot cheaper. I'm sorry, I thought you were fine. Why, why knock yourself out with all these fancy fabrics? Marianne, there I... There must be plenty of good dead decorators. Marianne, I understand that you're... I hear Laura Ashley's dead. You could go right to the top. I understand, Marianne. I really do. But let me just tell you this. The anger that you feel toward me, justified though it may be, is changing your dharma. And the confused spirit like Crystal, where are you going? Wait, Mary Ann, wait a minute. It's very dangerous. You might be right. What do you mean? Well, I could be wrong. Maybe there is a real person waiting for you back at your apartment. Uh -huh. If there's a real person waiting, if there's a real person waiting for me, would you happen to know who it is? Well, not offhand, but I'll, I'll go through every possibility in my Rolodex. If, if you'll just open your mind to something, if you'll just come with me to see my spiritual advisor and just rule out the fact that it could be Crystal. It's two o'clock in the morning, and this is where you park? In an alley? It's the only parking space that's always open. I think you're going to be very impressed with Escalapius. He's from ancient Greece, but he occupies the body of this accountant in Newark. What did you do? Uh, nothing. Maybe the hood was unlatched or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't even touch it. It just, it just started. Well, turn it off. I can't. Let me try. Let me try. I said you can't turn it off. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's find a phone. Do you have a triple A card? Oh yeah, I do. I think. Where is it? These are drawer handles. Oh, they're hard to find. Oh yeah. It's hard to find. What? What? The door handles are gone. What? Uh, somebody's taken off the door handles. What are you talking about? The window won't go down. Does the window work manually? No, and the horn doesn't work. Neither do the lights. Neither does the air conditioning. Neither does the radio. Someone locked us in this car. And we can't get out. Help! 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 Anyway, somebody's gonna come by eventually. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people live around here. Yeah. Whew. I don't quite understand this. I mean, even for one of your friends. Do you smell things. something? You mean the fumes from the exhaust? They're thick, aren't they? Yeah. They seem to be coming right into the car. Hey, wait, wait! We're just using up air! We're just using up! 
Five. Check that up, Mark. Check that up. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. That's the word I'm looking for. Let's not panic. No panic. Let's not. All right. It's all right. Let's just. Let's. That's right. Oh, Eva. Oh, Eva, look. Look at these wires. These wires have all been cut. Oh my God. That's why nothing works. They're coming out of the glove compartment. Okay, just open it. Just open it. It's the fuses, fuses behind this panel. Let me see. There. The wires aren't cut up here. Maybe we can just oh, he's see connected. There aren't any fuses in the fuse box. He's taken out the fuses. It's empty. It's empty? He's taken the fuses. All right, wait, wait. I know what to do. I know what to do. Frick. OK. Here. What a prick! All right, Marianne. Here. Don't waste your air. Go over there. Go over to the wires. I'm going to put pennies in the slots where the okay. fuses go. Uh, can you just match the wires color by color? Oh, here, here. And then eventually you'll hit the right wire, and I'll hit the right fuse, and, and then the window will open. Hurry. You just keep hitting the wires color to color. This isn't going to work. They're not going to get us. This isn't working. <laughs> oh, it's happening! This was a deliberate attempted at murder. Oh. He took the handles off the car. I took the handles off the car. And in my previous complaint, previous I had said complaint. that Mrs. Prosky was followed. Mrs. Prosky had a complaint. Take these downtown, get them tagged. No, I don't want any hospitalization. I, are you kidding? You get killed in a hospital. Okay. You want to go to the Mrs. Prosky also made it. Okay, we finished with the fingerprints. You know me. Remember from from when uh, uh, Crystal died? Aren't you Detective Webb? Yeah. Weber. Okay, we found the door handles in the back seat. No, but there they was weren't no there. Hose or anything that you could feel. Uh, no, they, well, then they, 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 they put the door handles back. They put it in. He uh, put the yes, door. Ladies. He took the whole back. We left the car in the alley. Let me just say in the alley. All like double. We left the car. It was gone for half an hour. There weren't any handles. Stupid sons of bitches. It's almost worth getting killed just to wipe that smug expression off their fat, stupid faces. Well, you were right. It's definitely not a spirit. No. We don't have to go to that spiritual guy in Newark now, right? No. Okay. And I'll tell you something else. It's definitely nobody in my Rolodex. Oh, no. This is not the health food crowd. No. But who, who could this be? I don't know. I mean, what, what is this about? I have no idea. I don't even have a clue. Dear inner self, with special acknowledgement to my ruling planets, especially my saving Cancer Moon. What? I'm talking to my inner self. Of course you are. Please, if it is your will, help me to be aware of anything I, Reva, need to know about these murder attempts. Do I, Reva, know something I don't know I know? This is such a concept of bullshit. Or do I, Reva, have something that the murderer wants that I don't know I have? I know what he's after. Crystal's date book. Two o'clock, fixed gym. Three of thirty, Danny P. Out call. Five thirty, bartending lessons with blind Mike. Full day. Oh, look at this. Look at these names. Tanano Warmi. Antano Romano. The Kona Bontor. Demiso Bornick. Jadalino Kosi. These are not real names. This must be a code. This must be some little code she devised to disguise names. Right. What it is. And here, look, see, chuckle for pay, no come. Where's chuckle again? Roger would have understood what this meant. Yeah, so would Ed. What could be in this book? What could make it worth killing for? What did she say? Don't you remember what she said when she left it here? She said she was, God, it seems like it was a year ago. She said she was hiding it from this guy. She was hiding it from this guy who was laughing, laughing at her. Marianne, would you just consider asking your inner self? No! She didn't say laughing at her. She said she was seeing this guy chuckle. She was seeing this guy chuckle who was giving her trouble about the book, and I remember it because she said he handcuffed her to the radiator. Chuckle, ch chuckle is the guy. Well, wait a minute. It's got to be. Jesus Christ, if we knew who he was, we could give him the damn book back. Who could he be? Who could he be, chuckle? If I could just, if I could just talk to one of the girls in the book, they might know. They would know. But, uh, what? Crystal said that no hooker would talk to someone who wasn't in the life. Well, can't we say we're in the life? No, I don't know who to call. I don't know how to... 
Uh, Baby eyes, April, Loreen. Loreen. Yeah, with... Oh, yeah, Loreen. She talked about Loreen. She said they were like sisters. And it meant a lot to me because it just did. And I gave it to Alfredo because I loved him. And, um, and then one day I saw Renee and she was wearing the bracelet that I gave to him. Mm. And he had given it to her. <laughs> and so I said to him, well, you gave Renee the bracelet, so I guess she's your favorite now. And he said, yes. Oh, how awful. <laughs> yes, that was unfair. But my biggest problem is thinking of codes for my phone book. It, it, I, I wouldn't have cared so much if he would have just told me that he was going to give it to her, you know? Oh, yeah. It wouldn't have hurt as much. Yeah. I mean, but to just see it on her wrist. Yeah. Um, what did Crystal say when you told her that? What? The thing about, about Alfredo giving Renee your bracelet, what did Crystal say about that? Crystal was zonked. She was very heavy into drugs then, very heavy. Oh, I know, and her diet was awful. Yes. She was always in trouble, Crystal, always in trouble. Oh, what was the name of the guy who gave her drugs again, the, the drug supplier guy? Pete, he was a cop. She picked the worst cops. Cops? Yeah, <laughs> cops. Oh, shit, I better quit drinking. I've got to go do the Robin Bird show in an hour. Oh, really? Are you an actress? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know Carl Percy, don't you, from Albany? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we work for him. You're kidding. No. Which movies? The early ones. Yeah, the early ones. You mean, like, Finger Looking Good? 20 Laps? Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> wow. No, I, I wasn't in 20 Laps. Oh. I had another part. Oh. In the musical. <gasps> You're kidding. <laughs> she is. Yeah, yeah. She is. You know, Crystal was so good in hot sausages. Uh -huh. But she just never followed through, you know? She had no ambition. No. I think that she was very dumb to get mixed up with Chuckle. Yeah, well, <laughs> Crystal was dumb. And Chuckle's smart. He is real smart. He's too smart. I get scared of guys who are that smart. You know, and he really gets off on showing you just how smart he is. Like a really mean cat with a bird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 You know, you know, Crystal sent me a letter before she died. Yeah. She was she was so airy that she sent it in code. <laughs> so airy? She was just so uh, no. light, that's so out of this world. Like, so like spacey. Because <laughs> she sent it because she sent it in code. <laughs> you get it this time and I'll get it next time? Oh, sure. Okay, Could we go with you? Yeah. Sure, you can come with me. You can even be on the show. Carl knows Robin. Well, maybe we'll come after the show. Okay. We'll, we'll meet you later. All right. Okay. But the, wait, um, the Manhattan Cable. 23rd is there. Oh, yeah. Um, give me about two hours. Can I have any money? I'll see you there. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. minute. I'll meet you there right after the show. Wait a minute. I've got money. I've got the address. Where is she going? Here. Uh, Where are you going? Dollars. She's going to Manhattan Cable. I've got the address. With the tip, make it 20. 20? Yeah. Okay. She said to come. Should we be going with her? No, no, she said I'll make a meeting. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Sounds like somebody slammed into a bus or something. Yeah. Hey. They don't want to think No, they'll be ridiculous in broad daylight. For the cops? Pete was a cop. Crystal was getting drugs from a cop named Pete.
murdered a prostitute? No. no well, maybe. Well, no, that's not the point. We know she was killed, and we know Lorene was killed, but we're just not sure who killed them, and we don't know who to give the book to. You see, we just have to get out of town for a while, just until, well, just for a while. See, our plan is to leave town tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow. but I want to get some cash to Pamela. We don't have any place to stay, and we don't have any clothes. We can't go to a hotel dress like this. Yeah. Well, uh, you can't stay here. Well, what do you mean? You, you came here because you wanted to stay here? Well, of course. You're my family. I'm Ed's family. I have a husband with a heart condition and two children on drugs. I think it is outrageous of the two of you to come here and endanger us all this way because you you might have been followed. No, no, we weren't. We we took four cabs. We we, we really. Weren't. Wait, wait. You you want some money here? Here, here's some. Uh, here's here. Give the money. Here's three hundred dollars. Now, please. We need please to go. Yes, yes, yes. Here, here. Here's a very expensive raincoat, and these just came from the cleaners. Here's an overnight bag. Okay. It's brand new. It was a present. Now, please, please go. Okay. Come on. And uh, Lorene Motel. Right. Okay. Thanks. Bye bye. Lorene Motel. I'm, I'm sorry, I went blank. My names. Oh. There's a lot of places to go. There's not a lot of money to get there on. Boy, now's when you really want a big family, isn't it? Yeah. Not, not that I blame Sue for wanting us to leave. I mean, I really do understand it from her point of view. Sue is a jerk. Don't you have anyone but Sue? No, no, I don't have any blood relations. You know, when you get to a certain age, they all start dying off. Mm. Yeah. What about you? You don't have anybody but Roger? I have a sister in, uh, in Cleveland. Cleveland? That's great. It's $139 to Cleveland. We don't speak. Really? Your own sister? I haven't seen her in 18 years. Please. Oh, Mary Ann. Oh, Mary Ann, what? She left us when my father got sick. And then my mother had a stroke, and then uh, we couldn't afford a nurse, and I nursed them both for 13 years. So fuck her. I'm not going to Cleveland. No. Well, I mean, I, I don't know how to do this. I've never done this. Roger did this. I mean, I've never been on my own. I, I, I don't even go on a vacation alone. No, I This is just a joke. I'm going to go to a strange city and hide out from a murderer. I you know. It's, it's very hard. It's unfair. It's, yeah. Especially at our age. I mean, middle age is a very inflexible period. I can't believe it. What? Any of it. That I'm alone. Yeah. That somebody wants to kill me. Yeah. That I'm middle aged. Well, you are. Yeah. And so am I. Well, let's not make it the focus of our discussion. No. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little more ice. Oh God, I I really don't know how to go about all this. This is just an enormous thing to do. Changing our driver's license. It's a huge endeavor. And have I mean, credit cards, it's so well, 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 wait, wait a minute. How long are you planning on being away? Well, I don't know how. How long are you planning on being away? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks? Oh, that's silly. I mean, if he wants to kill us now, he's going to want to kill us in a couple of weeks. I mean, let's face it. If somebody really wants to kill you, you're dead. Well, well what does this mean? Does this mean that in order to keep from being killed, we, we become permanent fugitives? I mean, there must be a way out of this. Well, there's only one I can think of. Yeah? Kill him first. Oh, I can't stand this. this. What? This is just like some horrible joke that God is playing on me. Oh. You for the rest of my life. Mary Ann, well, no. why won't you even con consider killing him? I mean, is it a moral issue? Because I'll tell you, I consider this self-defense. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, well, if it's not a moral issue, I mean, if it's self-defense, then... Okay, then let's kill him first. But let's not do it the way we usually do with stun rays and expert shooting. Let's kill him in hand-to-hand -hand combat so he'll have a chance. Oh, Mary Ann, please. Don't be so sarcastic. I've never been this sarcastic. I am a housewife. You own a health food store. We're really equipped to kill this expert murderer whose last victim called him too smart before she died. All right, no, all right. So, so maybe our first move 
is just to find out who he is. Yes. That's right. Find out who he is. Right. That's right. So why don't we just get our town like we planned? Because since we know he's going to come after us, why don't we just try and control how he comes after us? Right. He'll be watching the house at first, waiting for us to come back, checking out every woman who goes in. But we'll be heading upstate. Right. And we'll be laying a trail for him to follow with our credit cards. Credit cards. And by the time he finds us, we'll have set up the traps. And when he gets caught in one, we'll kill Turn him. Turn him over to the police. He, he might be the police. What traps? OK, there you go. That's eighty-two fifty for the beer cash. That's $31 for the ice chest. $42.50 for the beer cash. OK, that's $114.60 for the beer is it smart to leave this clear a trail with those credit cards? Well, he'll never find us without some help. We're going to a new age retreat. It isn't even on the map. Now, what else do we need for the traps? Let's see, we've got camouflage gear. We've got the ice chest. Right. We've got the tape machine. We've got the timers. We've got the blankets. We've got the Army Navy stuff. Yeah. OK. Uh, we've got the rope and shovels. Canteens. Now, Marianne, I told the master that your husband is crazy and you have to hide. The master? We're getting this place rent-free. OK. The master. For as long as you desire. Thank you. You will find peace and contentment here. Thank you, Alupa And to help you right away, shall I give you a mantra? Yes, thank you. And do you have a handgun or a rifle? Oh, certainly, and here also, please take my dog. He's way upstairs. Tommaso, perhaps you think it's strange that we need an ice chest in an attic. He doesn't think it's strange. Tommaso, just put the ice chest near the front of the house. Sure. OK, any place where there's an outlet. Look, Marianne. Oh, yeah. See? Be a beautiful view of the whole front of the house, oh, the yard and the road. Yeah. Just put the yoga mats right here by the window. Mm -hmm. What about the back of the house? There's no road back there, but it's all woods. And even if he came that way, we've got the dog. And we'll set up the trams. I suppose you're wondering what we want a hole for. He's not wondering. He's not wondering. Thank you. Oh, that looks very, very nice up here. Thank you very much, Mr. Marcel. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Thank you very oh, much. Yes. Oh, thank you. See you tomorrow. Yes. Uh, yes. Come back tomorrow yes. with food. Right. The odds that this guy is going to put his hand into an ice chest to get Crystal's book and electrocute himself are not in our favor. Oh, no, wait a minute. Put the book under the water. Wait. Under water. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, in fact. Okay. Stand back. Oh, gosh. All right. Is that... Plug it in. Uh, okay. Okay. Just stand back now. I am. I am. Okay. Now we wait. Oh, I got such a headache. Is it anything? Don't know. Don't see anything. Now is the time when you really wish you had a man around, isn't it? Yeah. God, I wish Ed were here now. Don't you wish Roger were here? Oh, yeah. Well, no, well, Roger would need a lot of attention in a situation like this. It's really insane, isn't it, how you kill yourself taking care of someone just to get him in good enough shape to take care of you? Yeah. Well, that's why I'm so lucky to have my guides and my inner self and, and my nephew and Ed. Oh, Mary Ann. I really loved it. Sometimes.
times I loved him so much, I just didn't think I'd be able to live on this planet without him. Sometimes he was a real pain in the ass, and I just could have killed him. It was a perfect marriage. I never felt that way about Roger. I never worried about being on the planet without him. And I never wanted to kill him. I just worried about whether it was my fault on those very rare, well, not that rare, occasions when Roger was impotent. And I worried about whether I'd be the one out of four women to wind up with breast cancer. And I worried about not being able to have a baby because Roger wanted one. In another life. Yeah. I know you don't believe it, Marianne, but really, in another life. I'm not in right now, but if you will leave your name and your number at the sound of the beep, I'll get back to you. Mrs. Krosky, this is Evelyn down at the store, and I haven't seen you for a couple of days, so I just want to... Come on, I don't want to put the binoculars down for 10 seconds. Okay. Because it only takes 10 seconds to start a fire. Well, he wouldn't start a fire without getting Crystal's book from us. Reba! Mm. Come okay. on. All right, all right, all right. Come on, come okay, on. Okay, all right, fine. I right, give them to me. Okay, all right. Take this. Uh, yeah. Take it. Yeah. Take it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What, take is it? It. what is it? It's a caffeine pill. It's like a dehydrated cup of coffee. What? Are It'll you keep you, crazy? It will keep you awake. No. Reva, take it. It's nothing. No. It's sold over the counter. No, it's called I'm a not trucker's taking... coffee break. Take it. Take the goddamn pill. Okay. Okay. Swallow it. Good. Here's the binoculars. Wake me at three. Okay. This is the first time I've taken caffeine. I should not have taken the whole pill. Marianne, Marianne, guess what? What? Wake up! What? So Marianne. quick? Marianne. Hey, quick, quick. Guess what? What? My inner self cracked Crystal's code. Huh? Yeah, and it was so easy. Okay, you ready? Uh -huh. Take the name Vicona Bontor. Uh -huh. Vicona Bontor. Uh -huh. Take the tour. Put it after Vic. Take the Ona. Put it after Bond. What do you get? Wait, wait, let me get a pencil. You get Victor Bonona. Wait, wait. My God, that's a familiar name. See, all she did was switch the last syllables of both names. That's all. So, with Thomas Obornik, uh -huh. you take the Nick after Bohr, put it after Dami, you get Dominic. Take the So, put it after Bohr, Dominic Bohr So. John Lana Cozy, um, yeah, you just yeah. take the Talano, yeah, you put yeah, it yeah. after Coz, yeah. the E, put it yeah. after after Joe, yeah. Joey Castellano, okay. Marcy Cuccio, C after Cooch, EO after Mar, Mario Cucci. <gasps> I know who Victor Bonanno is. He's the mafia chief who's on trial in, in, in Brooklyn. Oh my God, Marianne. All those names are Italian. The mafia's after Don't us. Don't be stupid. The mafia's not going to try to kill us and make it look like an accident. Well, maybe they don't they want... just kill us. They're the mafia. Well, they they don't worry about it. But, 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 but if they could, if they, they might, they, you They know... don't have to worry about their names being in a hunger's no. well, well, why not? Because it might connect them to something bigger, like big-time drugs or murder. Do you know anything about the mafia, Weaver? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. I see what you mean. No, no, yes, they already are connected. Yes, no, I see. Yes, well, no, I, I can't argue with that. Oh, it's two o'clock. Doesn't make total sense, though. It's like a puzzle, isn't it? You know who was good at puzzles? Ed. Cold? I don't think I'm cold. In fact, this never even occurred to me. Reva. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You sleep. You sleep. Now just go to sleep. You sleep. Well, sometimes I did fake an orgasm, but very rarely. And I told Ed about it after he died. But it meant so much to him when he was living. Not that it didn't mean something to me. It did, but I knew he had a bad heart, and I could hear him up there on top of me just huffing and puffing and exhausting himself. Reva. 
You're not going to do this to me, are you? You're not going to keep me up all night, are you? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You sleep. You sleep. No, no, no. You deserve it. You, know, you go to sleep. I'm standing. Watch. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to sit here all night talking about exhausting Ed. I mean, I could have forced him to, to change his diet, but it's, it's very hard to live with someone and nag them every time they put a bite of food into their mouth. I mean, what kind of marriage would that be? So why not let him die and have a good marriage? That's what I did, didn't I? Instead of forcing him to eat better, instead of forcing him not to smoke. Reva! I killed him. Oh, fuck! Marianne, please don't say the F word. Reva, don't you understand? We have to stay alert. I'm sorry, I know it. Any minute now, he can find out that we're gone. I know, you're right. And once he does, he'll trace us in no time. You're right. I know, you're right. You see the house okay? Yes, yes, fine. I feel a little exposed with my back to it. It's fine, fine. I'm watching. You don't think this looks strange, me painting someone who has a newspaper in front of them? No. I don't think it looks strange. It's the artist's choice of subject. This really does look great. No, it looks fine. Even from here, it doesn't look like a dummy. <laughs> Is it anything? Oh, God, so fast. God, he found us so don't fast. Talk to me anymore. All right, oh don't God. talk to me anymore now. He can see us now. Just keep painting. Oh, God. What happened? I dropped my brush. Oh, here it is. Oh, God. Oh, Weaver, are you oh. all right? Oh, Weaver. Oh, God. Pass the binoculars back up to me, can you? Don't talk to me. Please. Pass the binoculars. Just pick up the binoculars. Oh, I can't. Right now, that's that's fine, Marianne. Just keep your head up, a little to the right. Weaver, they're right at your feet. Just sit still while I try to paint you. That's fine. Move a little to the right. That's good. Now don't move your head. It's a great draft. You can't see that thing from three feet away. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But I was thinking when we got him out of the hole. Yeah. We should have made it a little bit deeper. Yes, yes, I was thinking the same thing. A little thing. bit. About a foot. Yeah. It's a great draft. Good. It's good the way it is, too. Yeah. He could not get out, so. Couldn't get out. And the dummy. You know, it does look good, doesn't it? We just did a sensational job on it. Now, the most important thing we have to do is to never, ever be where he thinks we are. Right. Because that way, if he tries to sneak up on us, we can see who he is or we'll kill him. Oh. Well, or whatever. Whatever. Yes, 
Peter Weber. Pete. Yes. Right. I'll. I'll. Uh, I'll, I'll call you back. Bye. Pete. Pete. Help me. Oh. Pete. Pete Weber. A cop. Pete. The guy. The Lorene. The one Lorene said. Remember Pete. Where the, the cop? cop. The, the one with the white dress on the drugs. The wait. The okay. Guy. All right. right. Okay. The guy. Okay. We, we got, got him. him now. We've got him. We've got him. We've got him. Crazy? Now. Let's get out of here. No, 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 please. Now don't panic. Don't chicken now. Listen to me. Well, what we have to do now is go through with the plan. What plan? We don't have any plan. We just got a lot of traps that we keep getting caught in. Oh, the phone oh. ring. Yes. Chase. Uh, who is uh, this calling, please? Pretend that you're somebody else. I don't want him to know he's got the right number. So use another voice. I don't know how to do that. Reva, I don't want him to know he's got the right number. Okay. okay. Uh. Who that? Oz Demade. Yes, we're both maids, but you hired me. Yeah, well, I don't know how to do that. Right, I guess I'm changing my yeah. voice. Oh, right, look, I, look. I hope that didn't sound racist, did it? Listen to me. What? Call the number back. Yeah. But, but don't, don't ask for Pete. Ask for another cop and ask the other cop for Pete. Because if Pete kills us, then he'll be associated with the crime. Okay, all right. Okay. Now, who, who, who do I ask for? What's the cop's name? Give me the, the name. The guy it's with the, the, the night of my break in, the Kelly. Okay, the, the yeah, guy. Oh, the God, guy. but he thinks I'm crazy. Oh, what's that difference? They all think you're crazy. I know they do, and I just don't understand why. Oh, yes. Uh, Officer Kelly, please. Uh, Lieutenant. Uh, Lieutenant uh, Kelly. Buttchuck or Mike? Oh, uh, are they all lieutenants? Oh, really? Oh, fine. Little tenant then. Chuck, the little tenant. Okay, he's getting okay. it. No Pete Weber's involved. Okay, I'll you know it. Now, right. do you think it? All right, all right, all right. Okay. Yes, right. yes, yes, yes. Lieutenant Kelly? Yes, <sighs> Lieutenant Kelly. Wait, wait, wait. Are you alone? Because you have an officer there by the name of Peter Weber who says that we were reported missing, and that he traced us through our car rental service and found us up here in upstate New York in this house where we are now. Oh, <laughs> this is Reva Frosky. <laughs> oh, he's very excited. It's me. Yes. Wait a minute. Listen, I know you don't believe someone's trying to kill us. Oh, wait. But I want to tell you that if we're killed, the guy who will have done it will be Officer Peter oh, Weber, okay? Oh, wait. wait, go easy. But because don't Peter me. Weber was Crystal Schrocky's drug wait, supplier. Don't tell him too much. And you wait a minute? And, don't and don't we have much. her date book, a date book that he's very wait, interested in getting, much. that he would kill for us. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, you can't tell this way. Yes, I am making an oh accusation. And I would be very interested in repeating that accusation no, to Officer no, no, Weber. No, no, because we are on a lonely no, road four this. miles east of Abu Bishabi's new age community. No, and if no, somebody machine gunned us to death, they wouldn't be able to find you. Thank you. Oh. We're going to do it. Oh, now you've warned Weber off. Yes. Yes? Yes. Now, when he comes here, he won't be off guard. Who gives a shit? Who wants him here? What would we do with him if he came here? Kill him. That's what we do with him. We're all set up. He's closed in the trap in the back. He's trapped. We shoot him. He, he goes to the front door. We got something really heavy on the beam. It falls on him. It knocks him out. We shoot him. He goes up into the attic. He can get up there. And then he asks us where Crystal's book is. We tell him. He reaches in and we shoot him. No! No, we don't shoot him. He gets electrocuted. And we tell everybody he had a heart attack. I've never been this frightened. Why? For the first time, we're really ready for him. Not of him. Of you. Yes? Yes. Oh, yes, was he upset? Really, that upset. Right. And did you find out who reported us missing? Going through all this work. Plans and plans. Oh, yeah. Traps there. We got traps. We got the door. Oh, well, yes, please. Can you work and you're working for what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 that's right. Please, please just don't say anything to him. All right, so. All right. Now, that was really a big mistake. It's obvious that Weber is chuckle, and we could have had him. Maybe even tonight. Oh, now we're gonna have to sit here for weeks while he thinks it's safe enough to come back and try to kill us. It was Roger who tipped Weber off to us. Roger reported us missing. Roger? Yes, Roger. Well, how can we be sure that it was really Roger? Because I know the number. It's the number of uh, of his wife, his first wife in Queens, his real wife in Queens, his Queens wife, oh. Sylvia. Oh, Mary Ann, how awful. That's well. Well, well. Listen, really, I, I really don't care. I think people should live with whoever they want to live with. And I really... Uh, Sylvia has a very pretty home. She runs it brilliantly. And uh, frankly speaking, if I had the choice, I'd live with Sylvia. You cannot blame yourself for this. He was a terrible husband. And I think you're very lucky to be rid of, of a very bad marriage and a, and a husband who never appreciated you. Really? I don't think I had such a bad marriage. I don't think my marriage was any worse than yours. Well, mine? Yeah. I mean, maybe I never worried about being on the planet without Roger, but at least I never worried about his dying during sexual intercourse. Oh, Mary Ann. I just, uh, I just feel that if Roger was eating what he wasn't supposed to eat and huffing and puffing, I wouldn't be so sure he was crazy about me because there's a lot of ways to leave someone. 
I mean, I can't believe you're saying this to me. I don't either. I, I don't know what I'm talking. I don't mean what I'm saying to you. Oh, Reva, I don't mean what I'm saying to you. Please, just, just erase it. I love me. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. I was crazy about you. Yeah, just don't cry. There's no reason to cry. I didn't mean it. Don't you know when somebody doesn't mean something? You know, you know what the really great thing is? The really great thing is, is that, yes, I warned Peter Weber, but now that he's not coming tonight, maybe we can get a nap. Yeah. Yeah? I'm really tired. <laughs> You better be careful. Mrs. Prosky. May I have your name, Mrs. Prosky? Bud Chucker, Mike. You better be careful. What? The night of cups. It's a mysterious stranger's coming into your life. I'm Lieutenant Kelly, and this is Detective Weber. May I have your name? Chuckle's smart. He's too smart. And this is Detective Weber. May I have your name? I get scared of guys who aren't that smart. This is Prosky. It's like a really mean cat with a bird. Well, Chuck and Mike? He's a cop. Are, are they all lieutenants? She picked the worst cops. the day away. Mary Ann, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm out. His name is Chuck. What? Lieutenant Kelly. Chuck Kelly. That's Chuckle. Chuck Kelly. Chuckle. There's got to be 5,000 Chuck Kellys in the place. Yeah, I'm sure there are. But this Chuck Kelly interrogated me after Crystal's death. Yeah? And when, I heard, when he heard that I had a couple of her things, he tried to get them from me. I know that's not a big thing. No. Well, that's not a big thing. <laughs> He's a guy who he came over right after the break-in in my apartment. He was there before the patrol car. It was the same guy. I mean, not that that's a big thing either. I mean, well, that's not a big thing, but... But I'm just saying... Maybe he thought I had put Crystal's book in the overnight bag and took it over to your apartment. Yeah. If it's him, that would make sense. Yeah. Makes sense. If it's him. Shit. What? Oh, shit. What? If it's him, I told him where we are. Oh, my God, on the phone. I described him exactly on the phone, how to get you here. did. Yeah. Oh, my God. If it's him, he's practically got a map. Listen. Oh, God. Listen. What? What?
there's a nun. Here, isn't the house. He can't hear any minute. dead or unconscious, he'd have to have a steel head not to be dead. I just hope he's not squashed. We have a gun! And if you move, we'll fire it! Don't be so afraid. Be careful. Don't! Don't go down there now. Be, be careful. just thinks you're crazy. But I like the door and the pots and pans and the hole in the yard. And I really like the dummy. Thank you. Turn around and get your hands up. And don't you push me anymore. Or I'll blow your brains out. Get your hands up. Higher. Are we going to die? I'm afraid so. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. You, you can't kill us. We told someone where the, where the date book is. Yeah, we told somebody very important. And, and they know that if anything happens to us, they know to, to take us straight to the police. Yes. Well, that sounds like a movie plot, doesn't it? Yeah, that's where we got the idea, but it's true. Well, we really did it. Yes, absolutely. We, we wouldn't have come up here without a plan, you yeah. know. I mean, I told Roger everything. That's why he called you. He called you to report us missing because we, we wanted you to follow us here because we wanted to make sure it was you. Yeah, that's why he left that phone number. Yeah. If you, you, you should trace that phone number and you'll see it's not really his number. It's, it's his ex-wife's number. I did trace it, and it does belong to his ex-wife. See? Now, where is it? Please. We don't have it. We, 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 we can't give it to you because we don't have it. Oh, don't say that, because you will give it to me. You will give it to me. Well, I mean, if we had it, I mean, why would we... Give it to you. The minute you got it, you would, you would, you would kill us. So why would we give it to you? Well, you know that's a funny thing. But people, even knowing they're going to die in a minute, will do almost anything to make it two minutes. But, but, but listen. I mean, bad as and stupid as our traps are, the hole in the ground and, and the, the pots and pans over the door, still, don't they show you that we had a plan? And, and don't they show you that we're not alone? We, we, we could never have done all this alone. We could never have pulled that door up by ourselves. Or dug or, that hole. Or dug the hole in the yeah. back by, by ourselves. I mean, I, I, we couldn't have done it. No, never, never. I mean, somebody, some guy would have had to help us, and it was Roger. Yes. I mean, it was my husband, Roger. He's, he's been in on he, the whole thing. My husband, what would he be doing with his ex-wife? Yep, 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 yep. Nothing's easy. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, nothing's easy. We must have been pretty desperate to do it. Oh, honey, I'm so desperate, and I'm so tired. Yeah, I know. You wish, wish you could say time out and get a little sleep. Yeah, stop the world for 14 hours, get a good night's sleep, yeah. and then come back to it fresh. Yeah, that's yes. right. We, we've got about six hours sleep since this started. Oh, less. And you didn't get any sleep last night. No. You know, I've slept about an hour since this started. You're kidding. And I can feel my mind circling, getting all caught up in a little circle. And then all of a sudden, I'm back with the thought I passed an hour yes. ago. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just from being tired. Yes. Just but nothing stops. No. Nothing I stops. I know. You just keep running. Hands up. I, 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 
and keep them up, or I'm gonna blow your brains out. I don't like you anyway, all of a sudden. You know, we know what we're scared of because we're scared of you. But, but what's in that book that you're so scared of? It connects me with the mob. The mafia? Oh, she guessed that in 20 seconds. Yeah, well, I was on caffeine. You see, if that date book gets the cops, they'll make me a witness in the Bonona trial. And I'll be on top of the hit list because I know everything the DA needs. And I'll just spend all my time waiting for it, listening for it. Well, you know. Oh, oh yeah. I know. I mean, we, we just waiting here in this attic for you. Well, it's just so hot up here. There's no air. Uh, Never knowing we'd get here. Yeah. Got something cold to drink in there? No, don't! Yes. No, don't. No, don't. <laughs> oh, I'll be a son of a bitch. It's not the real book. No, it's not. Hey, it'll only take a minute to check. See? See how important that minute is. Don't! Don't kill us! It's a trap! You'll die! I got to admire you. You fight to the end. Oh. Poor man. He drove all the way out here because we thought someone had killed the dog. And then he went all the way up to the attic, and then he just fell. And now the dog may live, and he's dead. Ladies, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself for this fellow's heart attack. Mm. The police department in New York City said that he was tense and exhausted all week long. Really? Mm. So now you ladies, just relax. And uh, we will be a few minutes upstairs, and then we'll be out of here, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank, thank you, you, thank you Sheriff. Thank you very much. I feel much. very, very bad about it. Yes, thank you. You've been so kind. That's a wall. Okay. No, it's in the side. I don't want these ladies to see this. Well, on the side. Don't fall into that trap. He was a prick. He deserved everything he got. And yet, in those days before Pritikin, nobody really knew how destructive diet could be. I'm talking about Kelly. Oh, Kelly. Oh, yes, Kelly was a prick. No, no, no. I'm talking about Ed. Please, will you forget what I said about Ed? I didn't mean no, it. No, no, I, I, I know that you didn't. It's just that I haven't heard from him or anyone since this whole thing started. It's like I've done all this on my own, without any messages from Ed or my guides or Crystal. Well, that's not true. Your, your inner self? Your inner self helped crack Crystal's code. Yeah. It helped me find the date book. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's just that it feels like a coincidence. Look at that. Is that a coincidence? Yes. You see, it's it's just the sun hitting my crystal. Just the sun hitting your crystal? Crystal? Crystal's name is Crystal? 
Oh, Mary Ann. Everything doesn't mean something. Don't hand me that shit. You told me there was a reason for this. You said there was a reason for Rogers leaving me and a reason for Crystal dying. You said there was some lesson we were going to learn. I know I did. I know it. I'm just not sure I was right. But if you have faith, if you believe... I don't believe. I mean, I think this is all bullshit. But we can't both feel that way. I mean, if I've lost Roger and you've lost your faith, what do we have? Ready? Oh, they're great traps. Great, great traps. It is written that destiny takes us only halfway along the path, and after that we are on our own. So beware, for along the way, the wise man may act foolishly, the fool may act wisely, and the hunter may become the prey.